Hello, thanks for joining me and welcome to today's reflection. Be still. What do you think of when you hear those words? How do they make you feel? Relaxed? Peaceful? Or perhaps even more pressurised and stressed? Since the beginning of the year at Liberton, we've been hearing a lot about the importance of spending time with God in prayer, not just speaking to him, but also taking time to listen, to sense what he might be saying to us, so we can respond to Holy Spirit's nudge when it comes. I know that many of us have embraced the challenge to go deeper in our relationship with God, to get to know him better. In these difficult times we're living through, it can be so easy to feel overwhelmed by everything, to feel anxious about what the future may hold, indeed about what the next few weeks and months may hold. Will we ever get back to normal? What does normal even mean now? What will happen to the people and things we care about? And so on and so on. How can we find peace in the midst of such turmoil? Let's read a couple of verses together from the Bible, from the book of Psalms. Psalm 46, verse 10, God says to his people, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And then in Psalm 37, verse 7, we are also encouraged to be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. In both of these verses, it seems the reason for being still is to recognise that God is God. He's in charge and ultimately he is in control of both of our world and of our lives. So when I find myself going down that anxious path in my mind, worrying about things, I find it's good to go back and remind myself of what God has said here. To press the pause button, pull my thoughts back and remember the almighty creator God is also our loving heavenly father and he's right here with us right now. If we will just be still and know. Perhaps this is another way that God calls us to a regular pattern of making time to rest in our daily lives, as well as in our weekly patterns and the seasons of the year. I'd like to finish by reading again the words of Psalm 46 verse 10, but this time from the Passion Translation. Surrender your anxiety, be silent and stop your striving and you will see that I am God. I am the God above the nations, and I will be exalted throughout the whole earth. Sometimes it can help us to realise that being still isn't just about doing nothing. In fact, there are positive actions that we can take. So it says, surrender your anxiety. So make deliberate choice about to give our worries and our concerns to Jesus. And then it says, be silent and stop striving. Sometimes we just need to admit there are things that we can't fix. There are some questions that we can't answer. In fact, we might not ever have the answer. And then the promise, you will see that I am God. We can choose to trust him. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have not abandoned us, that you are still Emmanuel, God with us, and that you invite each one of us to draw close to you, to be still and know that you are God, and to know that your plans and purposes for us will not fail. Please teach us how to know more of who you are, to know your ways, and so to live our lives for your glory, to see your kingdom come here in this place, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Father, we thank you that you are the God who sees, that you know each one of us intimately, and in particular, thank you that you know exactly what we are going through right now. As we come to you in prayer, thank you that with you as our shepherd, we lack nothing. We ask that you would give your peace and your comfort to those who are hurting. We pray for healing, whether mental, physical or emotional, for ourselves and for those known to us who need it right now. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks for joining me.